Yeah. Yeah. Counting? yeah, yeah. So today's exercise is to introduce some virgin queens. I've had them in incubated for uh, certainly one to two days old ones today. Uh, so we just the white queens, so they, they don't have any pheromones, and we'll just let them come out. See if the bees give them any trouble. Fed them a bit of honey overnight. There she's coming out, and she's going in. The bees aren't bothering her. The Virgin Queen is what they call a white queen. They don't smell of anything. They'll know she's a queen. They'll have a look at that one down there, but they're not bothering her. And what they tend to do is the queen will hunker down and almost pretend to be dead, but they just let the bees crawl over. That one's been accepted down there, I think. Yeah, yeah not... this one's come to this end now. Yeah. The, uh, if they start turning around and stinging, then you've got a problem. But there, there, there's some honey on that the cap, that's why that one's uh, interested in the cap, smelling the honey. Has a queen gone out? Can't see, she was at the top at one point. Queen's gone. Yeah, so the queen's in. That was painless, wasn't it? Mm. What I've also done in times past is you can actually put them in the, the top of the crown board on, a, on an existing hive and then they'll crawl in un, un, uh, unannounced and they will they will uh, find out the old queen and in theory kill her because the virgin is, is more agile and the, uh, more virile so the bees accept her and she will find the old queen who's got full of eggs and stuffed up and uh, they'll kill her and then they'll take over the hive. Rather than put it in the front, I'll put it in the top. Brilliant. Easy peasy.